Sponsored by Red Bull. What's going on, everybody? We're back here for the second part of the build of the K824. Um, if you guys saw, we had everything taken apart, and now it's time to put everything together. Uh, I did add a few other things. I did add a brand new clutch because that clutch, as you saw in the last video, was horrible. But now we do have the new clutch, uh, stage one from ACT. We also have the ACT Lightened Aluminum Flywheel. Those are gonna help with better throttle response. It, they could take more abuse than the stock clutches and on flywheel, so that's gonna help us out a little bit when it comes to drifting and all that. Um, I also am gonna add bolt-ons in the future, but we'll worry about that for later. For now, I'm just gonna get back and just show you videos of when it comes to the rebuilding of this car. By the way, another thing we did end up finding, uh, I don't know if you guys can see here, but look at that rod. You can see that bent? The rod also got bend, bent, sorry. Yeah, so we have to get a new one of theirs. This was a piston number four, which is where it had the scoring on the block and everything, so that was a problem. But we have a new one here, we're gonna have it fixed. We're all good now. I got a paperweight rod if you guys want to buy it. 50 OBO, hit me up. So as you guys see here, we do have the crank back into the motor. We have everything torqued down for now. I think you can torque it from 34 to 38 foot pounds. We already have it there torqued down and peep this. Woo! Spinning good. Clearances are good. Woo! I can have fun doing this all day. <laughs> we have the head back when the machine's up. All machined looking good, ready to go. Woo! And as you see now, we're putting the piston rings back in place. Getting ready for the rebuild and everything. I also forgot to add that, remember the scratches I did show you from the block? Those actually, we, we honed them out a bit and they actually just went away. So it wasn't as deep as we thought. So we're good, it wasn't that much damage. The honing, everything's back to normal. We're good, we don't have to worry about that. So fun fact, if the motor's open and you're just not working on it, just put a shirt or something to cover it because you don't want dust getting in there because dust getting in there, all the detonation and all that stuff. Could scratch the metal, scratch more metal and you don't want to blow up your motor when you just did it. I don't want to blow my water when I just did it. Don't be like me, please. So now we're just cleaning up the pistons. Really not much to do, is just getting everything ready to put back inside. So I guess the footage won't be the best, but yeah, getting the pistons ready to clean them, ready to put them in. All right, so we do have all the pistons cleaned up, but I just want to show you guys, you guys aren't familiar with building a motor. You guys do gotta have the piston rings all in a different position. You see that one there, and that one there. The reason why we do that because if they're all lined up together, they're gonna have some seepage of the oil into parts where you don't need it to, and you don't want that happening. So just make sure if you guys are gonna build the motor ever, just to have the piston rings all in different positions throughout, so you don't have that problem when the motor's already put on together and all running and all that. All pistons there done, ready to be put in. Woo, I can't wait. Now we have some overnight parts from Japan. Brand new inbox ACT clutch. This is the sprung disc here. Woo. I actually love the yellow. With the black, I think it looks good. And here we have, oh no. Ah. Oh. I'm gonna break this before I even finish. Pressure play, ooh, with some ACT stickers. Also, that beautiful yellow that I love. And over here we have, brand new with some more stickers, the flywheel. Let me focus it in. Ooh, brand new, nice, nice. 
I can't think of the box, but yeah, there you go. It, these parts I got courtesy of Nippon, Nippon Power. If you guys are interested in the parts there, I'm gonna put the link below of their site and all that. Really cool people. His name is Richard. I've worked with. Great guy. I'm probably gonna go work with him some more. But thanks to them, I got these in less than a week. Everything's working good. All right, so now we have the first piston, and then we put cylinder three. I'll show you from this side. And it's a good thing, now remember you guys, you guys gotta torque these things down to a specific torque. Please look it up because you don't want to do this wrong. These right here for the rod bearings are supposed to be from 28 to 33. We did 30 foot pounds. <laughs> Always make sure you do that. Now we're just gonna have the other ones to go. And so far so good. Another thing, this is cylinder three. So it's piston number three. These are actually numbered. Um, I didn't know that was gonna be the K24, but see this is TDC, which is top dead center. And then BDC, which is bottom dead center, is all the way in the back in there, which I'll show you later on. Another thing about the bearings, just to make sure they're good, you just hit it with a little bit of scotch bright, it's scotch bright, it's coffee. You guys have that, having it looking clean, ready to put in. So as we're putting the bearings on, you remember when you do, you do have to match it up here with the rod journal, because that's where oil seeps through, and everything's working good. That is very important, you cannot mess that stuff up. Remember guys, when it comes to this, lubrication is everything because no lubrication equals rod knock like how my motor went bad. So we're just putting a little bit of oil around the rings, getting ready to put it, we're putting it on a vice grip, be able to put the piston into the engine. And here, this is the ring compressor, that's what I'm calling it, I hope it's right. So we can press the piston rings in so we can slide it into the block with no problem. Remember when you do put it on the vice grips, do not tighten it down because you're just going to be putting pressure on the rods, which are not good. So now we're ready to put the piston into the motor. It's going to lubricate it a little bit more, maybe. I hope. Yeah, are we? Yeah, we are. <laughs> See, I'm right. I know what I'm doing. I'm just not doing the work because I can't film and do it at the same time. But I put some extra oil onto the bearings. We're going to put them together. Like I said, lubrication is everything. So now basically what we're doing is lining up the rods to be able to go into the crank as you see Jason's gonna be doing it can't really see it but slowly hit it where the ring compressor hits it in and just slowly hit it in to where it lines up as you see you hit it to us all the way in and now here's you going torquing it down to the required spec which is 30 foot pounds Using a torque wrench, you know it's torqued when you hear the click. But then again, there's always going to be some play in the end or some movement. So you just do a double click, go to each bolt over again just to make sure it's right. And piston position here. This is set under three, set under two, four, and one. Two and three move in mode in sync as four and one move in sync as well. So when this one is on bottom dead center, two and three should be close to top dead center. And yeah, you know it's in top dead center when the piston is on the top, it's pretty self-explanatory. And bottom dead center is all the way on the bottom. So I'm not going to show you guys the rest of it because it's pretty much the same thing for the other four pistons. Other three pistons, two pistons, whatever. And, but yeah, after that, slowly just probably putting everything together, the clutch, the flywheel, the head, everything. I have to leave now because I do got to go to work, but I'm just going to leave the camera here, let Adam just recording what he's doing. You guys can watch it. Hopefully we get it done by today, we can get it running by today. I probably won't be here to see the startup, but tomorrow I'm going to be here early in the morning because I want to drive the car because I miss it so much. Bueno, for now, I'm out, guys. You're going to see the rest of the process being done, maybe in a time lapse. I'm not sure yet, but we'll see. All right, man. For me, dale. And we're back for day number two here. As you see, I got a haircut. Looking good. Sorry, ladies, I'm taken. Um, I'm sorry. I'm happily taken. I can't. I'm, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But still, I'm back here for day number two. Uh, they did a little bit of work uh, yesterday when I left for work, and we're actually almost there. And it's actually feeling real now, so it's pretty good. Finally, gonna have the car back. I do miss it. Um, let's just keep working instead of me just being all happy like a little ten-year-old. But let's do it. Head is on. Cams are in. Timing has been set. We almost there. Woo! Just getting ready to put everything back on. We just gotta get rid of all this extra gasket material. So you put the new gaskets or seals, whatever the hell you wanna call them back on. So I'm just gonna work on that for a little bit. 
I'm not gonna annoy you guys with just video of us taking out the gaskets, but look, we have everything pretty much ready to go. Valcar's back on, everything's good. We're just finishing up the last piece of gaskets here. And all the accessories, the fan, the headers, all that, and we're going to good. So we're taking a little break, and we just, there were some wheels at the shop, and we wanted to test fit them on the 240 to see how they would look. It looks nice. <laughs> Ooh, what wheels are they? Guess, guess, guess. That. Ah! Woof. Work Equip 05. And they look. Chopping. <laughs> Damn, that's nice for real. And these are, we, we said what, like 10, 11? What, 10 and a half, right? 10. Yeah, we think they're 10s in the rear and they fit. Literally, like, you do one, two degrees of camera in the back, this car would sit perfect. Um, kinda, kinda contemplating now. It, yeah, I think it's worth the extra weight. <laughs> Here's a view of the wheels on the front side. So now the update on the car. I'm not really filming the step-by-step -step process at this point because it's just literally, literally all the small things being put together. But as you see, we got the headers on. And what else do I put? I don't remember what I said from the last video, but we're almost there. Uh, a couple of the gaskets got to be put. Let's get everything connected. We're going good. We're going good. Still gotta think about those works though because oh my god, let's go back to that. Woo! So clean! Might get a set. Haven't decided. Maybe. Stat Nation's coming up. Huh. As you can see, we got everything pretty much ready to put in. Distributor, headers. It'll take about a full throttle cable. Everything's ready to go. So let's put it in. We have the engine hoist already. We're gonna put the chains on. I'm not gonna do a time lapse of us putting the engine back in because I already did it taking out in the first video. So I can have all that unnecessary footage. If you guys wanna see it, let me know, but I'm not gonna put it. So you're telling me for no reason. I didn't think that through. Oh. Before we do so, we have the flywheel in. Gonna put it down. And then comes the clutch. But just look, man. Look how beautiful that yellow is. Uh, I just, I can't get enough of it. Yellow and black, it's a nice touch. Matches very well. Clutch is on, looking else so good. All right, let's put it in. So you guys remember my tire ends that I said they were bad? Yeah, we kind of found the problem. <laughs> Watch. Yeah, if you guys know about how the outer tie rod ends work, they're not supposed to move like that. <laughs> but no worries, we ordered up the new ones, they're actually on the way. And I think we're just missing for antifreeze and we can try to start the engine. So let's see what happens, let's hope it runs. Have no fear, the new tie rod ends are here. So we shouldn't have that shaky noise on the wheels, we do have ones for the passenger and the driver, so we should be good now. Let's see how much of a difference it does make. That baby is running. Yes, 
we are back and alive, better than ever. Woo! Buddy! Yeah, as you saw, the car is finally back running back to normal. This rebuild was, it was probably needed, to be honest. The car hasn't rebuilt before, we just don't know when. There was no indication. Um, not giving sh not dogging the person who did rebuild the car, but there was a lot of things that were missing and just not done the way we would do it. Not saying that's wrong, but it's just we just did it in a different manner. But now we have everything new, everything's looking good. I'm, I'm super excited, we finally got the car running, I can finally drive it. New tire rod and bolts. One of the connecting rods were bent, brand new rods. Pistons are all good. Block was honed. Head was done, everything. It was. We did have a problem though. Uh, the machine shop, when we did get it back, the head with the cams on it, they actually switched the cams. Basically, the intake cam was on the exhaust side and the exhaust side was on the intake side. So that was like a little mission we had to go through. We had a little problem. We got it fixed. Car's running good. We have no problems as of now. I mean, yeah, it's. As of right now, it's good. Right now, it's just gonna be a break in period. Got to drive the car. I'm gonna drive the car like three, four hundred miles, something like that. And gotta change the oil again because there are gonna be metal shavings in the motor. So I didn't put like any type of good oil. I just put some like you know something just there just to ride it. Uh, I'm gonna change the spark plugs too after I do the 300, 400 miles, and the car should be good to go. We can get back to sliding. The reason why I haven't really been uploading a lot is because I didn't have a car to really show content with. I do wanna make the main part of this channel uh, about cars. But now we're back, so now everything's good. I'm gonna try to do a new schedule to where I have at least a video out once a week. Um, it will go up in time as I can get a schedule sorted out because I do have to. I've been all over the place. I'm trying to get a schedule sorted. But for now, we're good. We're back. And I hope you guys stick around to see more progress of this car because, oh, I ordered wheels by the way. Should be in by next week. Can't wait to show them. Oof. I really like those equips that I did test fit. I already ordered wheels in the way. This should be here by next week. Can't wait to show you guys. All right, for now, I'm done for this. Car's back. Rebuild's over. We're all happy. Woo! That's all I can do. All right, man. Till the next time. Dolly. Ooh, baby, on the track, I'm going room, room.